Hello, Tom from everystepcalculus.com, everystepphysics.com. Uh, problem in calculus uh, involving the Simpson approximation system of finding the area under a curve. And um, let's do it. Index 8 to get to my menu. Uh, I'm going to scroll up to go to the S section, which is Simpson alphabetical. Simpson's rule. There it is there. And we're actually doing the integral, you know, a definite integral here, a to b. And a simple way of doing it. And then the Simpson rule makes it hard and some more nonsense and uh, um, a lot of calculations to do the same thing, which is calculus is famous for. Um, so we're going to enter our function. The uh, function is you have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here in my programs. Alpha 4 minus x squared. I always show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. And the range given is alpha 4 and alpha 6. That looks pretty good. We're going to say that's okay. And in the intervals given, they want it from six of them. Alpha 6. And here's the formula for Simpson's rule here. Write this on your paper. That's exactly what it is. You look like a genius. And the change of x is uh, delta x, of course. It's b minus a divided by n, which is one-third. And at n equals 6, we're going to do find out the uh, x values. x0, they call it x naught, original x is a is equal to 4. That's the lower interval. Um, and then x1, you write out 1303 as it's computed. This is a plus uh, the change of delta x, which we just computed times 1 and then times 2, etc. And we do that for the six intervals. Then we place that in the function. Turns out to be we're replacing the f at 4 into the function here, minus 12, minus 133 over 9, minus 160 over 9, minus 21, minus 220 over 9, minus 253 over 9, and then minus 32. And so we're going to use the Simpson approximation to, to do this integral here. And that formula is this right here, f of a, and then 4 times x of 1, 2 times x of 2, 4 times x of 3, 2 times x of 4, 4 times x of 5, and then 5 of b, or f of b. Turns out to be these calculations. Write this all on your paper. And the answer is minus 128 over 3, minus 42.7. And of course, if you do if you do the definite integral of that integral, that's exactly what you're going to kind of come up with here also. Pretty neat, huh? Every step, calculus.com. Go to my site, buy my programs if you want to pass calculus. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Have a good one.